Hey people, what's going on? Elder J, old McWaller, and young McWaller with his rake. Um, I just wanted to show you guys um, a tour of the garden. A little update. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Um, so I had to get rid of three groundhogs all together and there's still a fourth one that's around so let's talk about what he the fourth one is doing now the fourth one um again i started letting this stuff die just so i can um i got tired of him eating everything so i left the swift chart oh you guys can't see that I left a Swiss chard there, and that is a rat trap. <laughs> That's how I got rid of the one. Um, I needed him to catch something, and uh, he had got caught in a rat trap. So uh, I just kept putting them out. I put a couple more out because I want them things to just, I opened the, opened the door for him to come in here um, freely without having to climb, without having to do anything. And he came in and he got caught, all right? So that's one, but his little brother is back. So I, I, I caught the mom first, took her to a place, caught the pops, took him to a place, to the same place that I left the mom off. The eldest child is the one that I just got that had to he had to go the hard way um but i think his sibling is still around so i haven't been growing any greens or anything like that i've just been letting that stuff go i um, just been letting that stuff go so i've been focusing mainly on um my summer stuff so let me give you a quick tour of the summer stuff first things first my squash is back now, and um, I actually have one growing. I'm gonna let that thing get a little bit bigger, but you can see all the little, all the females down there. Now what happened was I didn't have a whole lot of males. I had actually more females than males, and that was like one of the first times I've ever had that situation. So this particular variety, is a um definitely a producer so i will definitely be growing this one again um i haven't been able to pull much from this one because remember this one had uh was got ate up by the uh groundhog so this one actually had to recover first um my little uh comfrey plants they're getting eaten up I just left them there, their deterrence, or not deterrence, but they, you know, I let them eat on that. Look at that, my sage, man. That sage and rosemary have both spread and took over that pot over there. So come time for Thanksgiving and cooking, you know, baking chicken and stuff like that, I'm probably be... Uh, drying that stuff out and making my own like poultry seasoning and stuff like that with this stuff so that's cool um my mints of course been using that of course in the teas lemonades my sweet mint here um my lemon balm was uh getting eaten up most of the summer uh because the parents the groundhog parents love this stuff um the uh the groundhog children don't don't like it and so it's actually been growing back so that's that now guys let me let me explain something to you this was that tomato plant that the groundhog got in and started eating up and i didn't know if it was going to recover well yeah it recovered and it's buck wild right now what happened was when he ate the tops of them they started to it's it made more stalks so instead of me having a nice, you know, stalk or two coming up, when he ate the top, now I have like four, five, six, seven stalks. So 
yeah. Um, that's very interesting. So, um, this thing is cool. Um, I don't know. I think this thing got something eating it, though. And I don't know what it is. And that's because I'm seeing certain ends that look like this. See that? So, something's got to be going on in here. And I don't know if I got a hornworm blended in here. This thing is so daggone bushy. I don't even know how I'm going to be able to see that. So, we'll, I'll... I don't know. Now, at this stage of the game, you guys, I don't like to fertilize because I don't want any more green. And most of these fertilizers have a whole lot of nitrogen in there. So all that's going to do is produce more of that green. So at this point, I want fruit. So I don't fertilize as much anymore. Um, I just let it go. Down here is string beans. What's left of it that the... That the um, they didn't eat string beans so they ate up you know whole patches were for string beans you know in that section there but I still got some string beans left um, my beautiful um, potatoes are just getting decimated by the heat um, but that's cool um, I'm gonna keep watering these things until they really start turning yellow they haven't really started turning yellow that yellowing here is all from the heat we had a windstorm that knocked everything down and when everything got knocked down the heat has just been beating on this top here and drying up the soil a lot more now that's i haven't been worried so much about that because noah okay i see you go play I haven't been worried about that so much because you, when you're growing root vegetables, they don't have to be soaked all the time. But you do got to keep them watered, you know what I'm saying, until they're ready. Same thing with this thing here. Oh, my God, that's what's eating my... It is a hornworm, guys. This thing is the biggest hornworm I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. That thing scared the mess out of me. That's a hornworm, guys. I was wondering, something is eating my plant. And you can tell, because look, you see how the tops look like that? So he has to die. And how do we get rid of them? I take scissors and I slice him in half. Now the thing is, so I'm sure I got a hornworm in there somewhere. But again, with those, with it being so daggone bushy, it's going to be hard to find him. But that is what it is. He gets sliced in half. Let me make sure he's the only one over there. Oh, no. There's another one. Right there. See, they're green, guys, and they kind of blend right in. They're scary looking. I've never had cornworms before, but this is the first time I haven't had a... Um, I haven't grown um, uh, my tomatoes with basil. So the first year I don't grow my tomatoes with basil, and guess what I got? I got hornworms, and I never had hornworms before. So I tell you guys, grow your tomatoes with basil. Basil, basil, basil. All right. So um, these are my um, cayenne peppers. I'm getting a bunch of them hiding in there. Look at my t pepper plants, guys. Look how tall they go. Four pepper plants, again, per pot. Look at that. Pepperoncinis. Look how tall. Look, that's my fence right there, guys. Look how tall. Beautiful. Again, these are my um, big tomatoes. These are my yellow pears. Now, look at this monstrous thing right here, guys. This zucchini, I already pulled one, and bam, there's another one waiting for me. Zucchinis galore, guys, so I'm loving this. Um, I've been appreciating this. I'm trying to see if there's any more hiding in there. Nope. I'm just going to twist. 
and that's it nice good size zucchini here we go with another um, of my tomatoes um, I don't see any sign of it being eaten yes I do a little bit man I got hornworms I'm upset I see a little bit of sign so I have to go through here but I got clusters of tomatoes growing in there those these are not um, these are my like nice size tomatoes you see them in there I'm sorry guys because you guys are seeing this I'm seeing this stuff at the same time as you guys are um, got some tomatoes growing in there some good clusters but I'm gonna have to come out here it's been so hot I haven't been in here looking like I should oh my goodness look at this y'all see that y'all see these things growing from the back I just twist and pull you probably shouldn't do that guys but this is how I've been doing it for a while now and it's been all right look at this these are huge I didn't have anything growing there the other day guys so yeah those are good so I do got some yellow pears growing a couple clusters of yellow pears um, y'all see growing in these containers man I'm telling you you guys need to jump on these containers all right here's my other here's my peppers my banana peppers look at these things guys boom 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 look at this I got peppers all over the place in here I'm telling you guys those buckets five dollars a piece man that's how to do it that's how you do it so um, look guys this is I'm still pleased I'm still here I'm just out here watering right now I'm gonna need to go get my shears so I can just start slicing some of these daggone hornworms in half I don't play no games with them things they say you cook if some of you guys don't like killing um, animals or bugs if you collect these if you put them in like a little container or whatever um, when they uh, turn into butterflies they turn into a black a beautiful black butterfly and that's awesome that's cool but not why you eating my stuff I don't care what you turn into later you messing with me now so but my peppers are looking amazing my pepperoncinis you see my pepperoncinis y'all I'm actually gonna start grow uh, yeah these are the right size right now I can start harvesting some pepperoncinis um, I wanted to get a little bit more on at the same time because I'm gonna be pickling those I'm going to wait till my cayennes get red before pickling those. So, yeah. So, I'm going to try to rescue this tomato plant because this thing is the saddest looking tomato plant that I had. And I think it's definitely because it's been getting attacked the whole, whole time. This one is looking kind of sad, but, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it's showing signs that it was being eaten up, but I don't know if the birds ate up the hornworms or if they just hiding in all this bushiness, hiding all of in the bushiness. You can see with the color of those things, you can't really tell, man. If that was a bush, if this was a full bush of tomato, you wouldn't be able to tell. So, uh, yeah, but that's it, guys. Um... It's all about the summer veggies right about now. I'm not worried about stuff like this. I'll come back to leafy things in the, in the, when it gets uh, September, October. I'll start replanting stuff for the winter seasons and the fall. So I'll be planting like lettuce and all that stuff like that again. You know what I mean? And because I got these hoop houses on, I'm going to try to go. I'm going to try to take this, my crops until January or February. See if I can do that. So we'll see we'll see 
Um, but yeah, hopefully I get a nice crop of these um, squash soon to go along with the uh, to go along with the uh, zucchinis I got. All right, fellas. I mean, I said fellas. Everybody, I love you guys, and uh, yeah. Make sure you do your thing. Gardening is, is, is a great thing. But um, again, listen to what I told you guys a long time ago. Don't listen to me now. Plant basil next to your tomato plants and you won't have to deal with hornworms or definitely not as many because this is the first time I've ever had hornworms and this happens to be the first year that I have planted zero basil. All right, people, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.